so today I'm going to share with you guys all about the Clear Sonic and I got this for Christmas about you know two weeks ago when Christmas happened um, so I got it actually I got it that Sunday so we did it early so I've been using this for about two weeks now so um, that whole week and then this whole week every day and I have news about it so I'm just going to tell you everything about it and how much it cost and just all the facts all about Clarisonics so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy and also if you want to see this look I know this is like a kind of different look for me but this is the Miley Cyrus look if you want to see this check out um, my collab channel which I we just made um, me and for the girls um, made this collab channel it's called girl the no, glam girls collab and um, I can link that in the down bar and it's also in featured channels on my channel page and yeah so make sure you check out our channel and subscribe and I will still be on this channel too I'm just on both now and yeah so check that out to see how to get this cute look but yeah so let's talk about this player sonic Alright, so this is the Clarisonic Mia, and this is just the original one, just the Mia, not the Mia 2, just, I just wanted the regular one, it's cheaper, and this was 118 I think, at Macy's, somewhere around there, um, so yeah, but it got it, I got it in pink, so I really love this color, it's just a nice, pretty light pink, close to white, it actually looks like white in the camera, but it's a light pink, and um, it comes with this little cap, to protect it, which I put on like every night, just in case someone's like going to the bathroom in there, it's just kind of gross. So I like to protect it with the cap over it, and there's holes in there so it can still, you know, breathe. And then it came with the Clarisonic Refreshing Gel Cleanser, and I don't know, it just came with it. Um, there's different packages you can get that it comes with, um, but this one just came with the Clarisonic Gel Cleanser, just a cleanser you can use. And then it came with um, the Charger too, which is nice. So you just click it and it just goes on and on and on. It stays on for a minute, I think, yeah, a minute, and it stops automatically, which is so nice because sometimes you'll get carried away and you can't stop even doing it. It's really bad for your skin if you do it that much. So it's really nice. It times you for a minute and then shuts off completely. And you can press it again if you want to add a little bit more time, but it's good to just do a minute. Um, on the instructions, um, there's an instruction manual which I kept. Um, it says that you should do your nose for 20 minutes, like 10, 20, or not minutes, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 3 seconds, and then do, so nose, forehead, chin, and then do your cheeks for only 10 seconds each because they're, um, you know, a lot more delicate, and you can really, like, hurt them if you do it for too long. So I almost always just do my um, T-zone and then just do a little bit under my eye kind of area, not under my eye because it's so delicate there, but, like, right here. So like where I would apply highlighter, I do there um, just to get that off. And then I do a little bit on my cheeks just to get extra bronzer off that's stuck into my skin or extra face makeup. Um, but yeah, so I love that. It has a timer. Um, then it does, you know, it needs charging. And I love the charger because you can just plug it into the side wall. And then this is magnetic. So all you have to do is just clamp it on. It's literally magnetic. It's really fun to just clamp it on and be done. You don't have to like put it in some like thing and jam it in. And it's just nice and easy. Oops. So yeah, I really like that. I go like this, put the clear on it like this, put the cleanser there, and then my charger I plug into the side wall, which is right here. And then this charger, I made a little slit right there, as you can see, and that goes right in there, and then it hangs onto that. So, I know it's kind of confusing, but I just made myself a little organized tray so that it doesn't get gross and dirty from the table or if someone splashes water on it. I mean, it's fine, but if someone gets like toothpaste on it or something, like, it's just nice to have a little protection barrier. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you my skin type and how it works on me and what it's done for these past two weeks. So, um, yeah, so my skin type is I have really dry skin. It's kind of combination because my I get oily in my T-zone, not much oil, just very little oily, and then it's just dry. My cheeks are like totally normal. They are never dry or anything. Um, so basically my problem, my problem area is this, the T-zone, like a T. 
Um, so that's the problem. My cheeks are fine. Um, even my eyebrows get like a little like pimply. Like it's gross. But like even they get so I like go over my eyebrows too because it's just weird because I put um, I fill my eyebrows sometimes and it just doesn't work. Just gives me pimples. So I don't do that much anymore. But yeah. So um, yeah, I have dry skin. So this is a miracle for dry skin because it, it like you have flakes on your skin when you have dry skin. And this rubs those off. So I've been using it every day in the winter, especially it's nice. And it removes all those flakes and it's an exfoliator. It's just it's a nice exfoliator. People say it's better than using like the bead exfoliators because those can like lacerate your skin. This is a lot more gentle. So I guess if you have sensitive skin, it'll be fine. Um, you have to be very careful on not to press too hard. I did that. My mom had one, I used hers like a year ago. And I pressed too hard and I had bumps all over my forehead, like not even like on the skin, but like underneath the skin, bumps. And they weren't even pimples or anything, they were just bumps because of irritation and they itched and it was like a big red like fire on my forehead, it was bad. So don't press too hard because I, I have sensitive skin, it's not that bad, but I do have sensitive skin so if you press too hard that will be bad. So you have to go really lightweight with this thing. And you can just do circles to get in your pores and stuff and really cleanse it. Be careful not to press too hard. Just do it very light. I like, sometimes I like barely even touch them. just so light because it does, it's irritating my skin that way. I've noticed, I think your skin has become immune to this thing. I really do because it's not used to the like touching it like, you know, like that. It's not used to that. I think it has to become immune to it because... I had bumps on my forehead right when I kind of like started the first couple days and all of a sudden they're finally going away and I don't know if it's healing them or like if I had them before or I mean I had a couple before I think it got worse first it was like I had them just normal amount of bumps then it got worse when I started using it and then it got better so I think your skin has to like adapt to this but then after it's adapted it helps. So pimple wise, how many pimples have I been getting since I've been using this? Zero. I haven't gotten any pimples at all since I've been using this because it deep cleans, like I feel none. Usually like once a week I always get these pimples and they're like just random like so once one spot. This, when I use this, no pimples. I haven't had a pimple since I've used this actually so it's really weird but I really haven't. So yeah, I used this since last Sunday so like the couple days before Christmas and I still don't have any pimples so it's really amazing how this really deep cleans and yeah. So I would, after all this and me just saying it all out, I would recommend this to anyone. Even if you have sensitive skin, I feel like if you do it light and do it in only the areas where you're not sensitive such as your nose and um, kind of like a little bit of your forehead. Because I know like the nose, like, you know, there's like blackheads and I feel like that would really remove those blackheads. I noticed mine aren't as bad. I'm not getting as much whiteheads. My skin is clearing up. Another reason why it's clearing up is because I've stopped popping pimples. And I'm doing like a challenge, a New Year's Revolution, where I stop popping pimples and like bumps and blackheads and whiteheads. I'm just done. So that's maybe why it's clearing up too. But yeah, I think this is a huge contributor to clearing up my skin. So if you are iffy on whether you should get the Clarisonic or not. I guarantee, I don't, I don't guarantee you'll love it, but I think you should just go for it because it is an amazing thing. It does clean and if you have sensitive skin such as your cheeks, let's say your cheeks are so sensitive and they flare up, maybe try it and they may get worse but then they may get better. That's what happened to me. So they may just flare up and then it will like adapt and get better and it will just remove any of that. Um, or you could just not go on those spots or just very like not even almost touch it, lightly go over that. You just have to really be careful and not to press too hard or else you're going to ruin your skin and cause bumps. So just be very gentle and yeah, maybe even go in to the person who's, I'm sorry, who sells the Clarisonic, wherever you're going, let's say you're going to Macy's, like Boston store, wherever you're going and ask someone who really knows what they're talking about if this would be good for your skin type and um, if you, they should get it, if you should get it or not, or if you should get the Nia 2 or Nia 1, you should just see a professional person who's selling it. But here, this is just a um, video to help you with someone who's been using it, just my story. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful and learned some things about the Clarisonic. 
So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and make sure you subscribe to my um, collab channel with some four other girls, and it's Glam Girls Collab. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.